Hey guys, Stu Grit Scott, Blue Sauce, BlueSauce.com. Oh, he on uh, my backpack blower. Shit. Let's go. Anyhow. Uh, I got some leaves on the ground. You can see, I don't even think half of them have fallen out of the tree. There's a big maple right there that starts losing its leaves. And there's a uh, beech tree right there that, I'll tell you what, it's lost most of its, if not all of its leaves. And I got another big maple here that's, I don't know, 30% gone on leaves. So anyhow, there's some a little bit of leaves here and the grass has grown up a bit. And I figured it'd be a good little test of the blower because I showed you guys blowing in the woods and I've done some other stuff. You see that old boat over there, the uh, cover, you know, was staked up so the water runs off. Then of course the stake that's holding it up falls down. Then the boat cover turns into a little pond full of leaves. I took the blower the other day and blew all that out. The water was a... I tried blowing the water out. I'm like, okay, there's, I don't know, 100 gallons of water in this boat cover. And I think, oh, I could just blow it out with the blower. Well, that just makes a big mess and you get real wet doing it. So I took a hose and I drained it and then I blew all the wet, mucky leaves out of it. So it was nice. But I've been using the blower for a bunch of different things. I cleaned off an area over where we sit yesterday. And I mean, it saved me so much time. And again, I'm coming from a handheld gas steel BG75. So this is like such a tremendous upgrade. I'm absolutely thrilled. The blower starts every time, starts in three or four poles. It's, it's a beautiful unit. I've used it enough now where I'm super happy with this. This is like uh, the best thing since sliced bread for me. So from where that camera's sitting to where the trailer back there is, the trailer's about 22 feet long. That's about 75 feet. So I got 75 feet of leaves here that I'm just going to go and make a couple passes. I'm not trying to make a long video. I got long grass here that needs to be cut because if the grass gets longer and more leaves come down, it just it becomes a nightmare for us. And you can see how many trees and leaves we're about to have. So it's the beginning of October 2023 in case you're watching this video next year or something. So this hasn't run since yesterday, so I'm going to put her on choke. I'll hit that little uh, purge bulb a few times. Now this has one of those Elasto, not Elasto starts, what do you call the recoil? The easy start recoils, which throws me off a little bit, but it is easy to do. And then take it off choke, let the pop. And I'm gonna blow it for me, just to give you guys an idea, because I really love this unit.
guys I don't think you need to see much more it's a blower with closed leaves it does a hell of a job it's it's a big volume of air to just move stuff because that's 75 foot section I don't know to the wider part well so right here it'd only be maybe 20 feet wide and that's maybe 35 feet wide I hope you guys can hear me uh anyhow the blower's fantastic if you guys uh what I think it'd be cool is if I had two people with blowers and you could kind of blow at each other to be better. Usually I'd blow those leaves up past where that boat got stuck, but now the boat's stuck there, so it's in the way, so I can't really blow the leaves where I want to because there's a little wooded area there. But I got too much junk in. So now that I got that junk in there, I guess I'll be taking a big tarp, <laughs> blowing a pile, raking them onto there, and then dragging them off somewhere else. The fun of fall. But uh, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Uh, if you guys want multiples of these units, I will do deals. If you're buying, you know, two, three, four of them at a time, that's great. I also think this week, and I meant to do it the other day, didn't get a chance to. I have some string trimmers of the brush cutters that I want to blow out. And I was going to do like a package deal. I know it's not really brush cutting season. But to be honest with you, for my fall cleanup, I'm running that brush cutter like crazy. I was running the blade on it yesterday, taking down uh, cattails in the pond that I don't want there anymore. So I used that for quite a while, and it was kind of a comedy show of me in a little boat. Because I wasn't trying to be in the pond. So I took the little rowboat, went out there, and I'm on the rowboat with the brush cutter, you know, doing cattails. But it worked out pretty good because I got rid of a ton of the cattails and some of those... Uh, what would they be? Willow trees. We got these wild willow trees that sprout up along the side of the pond and they don't turn into trees. They turn into willow bushes and they're, they're horrible. But I love the brush cutter for that with the uh, circular saw type blade on it. Worked absolutely phenomenal. I was totally happy with that. So what I think I'm going to do on blue saws, I'll put together a uh, brush cutter, backpack blower combo. And I even bought a handful, and I think I have maybe five of these left. The uh, knockoff Echo Speed and Feed string trimmer ones, because some of the brush cutters don't come with the string head, but I like those Speed and Feeds. But what I'm going to tell you now is I don't know if these are great or not, because I haven't used one. So they may hold up, they may not. I have, I've mentioned in another video where I've taken some of the knockoff Speed and Feeds, and some of them last, some of them the plastic was brittle and didn't last. So I'm not going to warranty those. I might give those away as a freebie to guys buying a combo. If you buy a blower, a trimmer, I'm going to put them on sale, and then I'll throw in an Echo Speed and Feed. But again, I only have like four or five of them, so it'll be the first couple people who jump on it will get them. Anyhow, guys, there's my quick blower video. I've been meaning to do it, and I have another video I want to make today because I think our weather's about to get horrible again. And I got a ton of work to do, but I have another video that I want to do outside and talk to you guys. So hopefully I can get everything done today. Anyhow, guys, uh, True Grit Scott, Bulletproof Saws, and BlueSaws.com. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.